Hey, what is up guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is James and from today I'm going to start a new series which is Adobe Premiere Pro Basic to Advanced. So if you are a very beginner, want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro, want to develop video editing skills, then this playlist will help you. So today is the first episode and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can edit a very basic video so that you can have an idea what you are going to do in future episode i'll show you advanced tutorials gradually so first you need to install adobe premiere pro so if you have a subscription of adobe premiere pro then you can go to adobe creative cloud which is here then just go to all apps and scroll down you'll see adobe premiere pro if you haven't installed adobe premiere pro then it will say install just install it and after installing just click open then this panel will appear this is the welcome screen from here we're going to make a new document or if you have made a document or worked on a document earlier then you can re-edit that document from here so as we haven't edited any video so first we need to make a new document i'm clicking on here which is new project then you need to give it a name i'm just naming it my first project and then from the project location section you need to select where you want to save it select choose location click here then browse where you want to save it i want to save it here then click select folder then click on create after making the project you will have a screen just like that if you don't see a screen just like that then you can click here which is workspace then you can click editing or you can just go to window then click workspace then you can click editing then you will see a workspace just like this one so this is our project panel where we're going to import all of our media files like photos videos then music sound effect here then this is the section where we are going to work on our video this is the timeline section if you want to chop any clip if you want to add any music if you want to add any photo you have to do it here this is the program panel you will see the preview of your video in this section and here you will see effects control panel and then if you need you can navigate through another panel from here and suppose from here if you want to go to project panel and you are not able to find it then you can go to window then you will select project which is this and click here then this panel will appear so when i will say a particular panel name and if you are not able to find it then you can always go to window and you can find the panel from here first to edit a video we need to input the files so first let's talk about what is video editing is right so video editing is a process where you will organize different media such as music photos then sound effects then videos together to tell a story that whole process is named as video editing and we are going to do that using a software called adobe premiere pro right so first we need to bring all those media files in adobe premiere pro you can input the media files in different way i am not going to talk about all of this section today in this episode because we are going to make a dedicated video regarding that subject so for now if you want to import any media files then go to the folder where you have saved the media files for me i have saved the media files here then premiere pro course introduction and here are some videos and on this folder there are some audios i want to import these files in adobe premiere pro to import it i need to select the folder that contains the files then press shift to select another folder and then click and drag those folder on here which is project panel just release it then you will see that files have been imported in project panel and from here we can start our video editing process so so today in this quick rundown project i'm going to show you how we can chop up some clips trim different sections of some clips and add a music along with those clips so here in my clips folder if i just double click here i can see there are some videos i want to add a music with those videos and i need to delete different section of this video so just select all of the videos select one then press shift and select the last one then click and drag those files on your timeline that will make a new sequence and here you can edit the video you, if you want you can trim the video you can add music so here you can see the video is too long i don't want a video that long with the music right so i need to delete the unwanted part of this video so first i need to trim this video select the video then click here which is wizard tool click here then make a trim here then you can press space bar to play it i want to make a cut here again again click here 
that will make a cut now again select the selection tool from here and select this part press delete select this part press delete and if i play it back you can see this is a black screen and after that this video is coming and when the video ends again there is a black screen so we need to delete this blank space how we can delete that if you right click here on this blank space you will see an option called repel delete we need to click here that will close the gap again if you want to close this gap you need to right click here and then click repel delete that will close the gaps again for this video i need to trim it so just i want to use this portion select the result tool click here then again select the selection tool click here and then delete it then right click here then click repel delete again for this video i want to do the same thing this is the same clip so i want to delete that too so another clip so for this clip i want to keep this much again select the razor tool make a trim here again select the selection tool the shortcut of selection tool is v if you press v on your keyboard then this selection tool will select then you can select this portion which portion you want to delete then you can press shift and press delete that will delete the part and again that will delete the blank space that is called repel delete we have deleted the unwanted part and we have deleted the blank space together just by using a command which is shift and delete if you don't get it then you can manually delete it just by selecting and pressing delete so next section i want to delete here again i'm deleting it by the way in the description box i'll put all of the media links if you want to follow along with me then you can download the media files and you can follow along with me so here is the final video we have deleted some part of that video so that it doesn't look boring right so again here you can see this video has some black bar this is not the appropriate size for my video so i need to scale it up a little bit to scale it up you have to select that video then you need to go to effects control panel here if you don't see it go to window then you can click effects control then this panel will appear then you can just increase the scale size from here i'm just making it maybe 110 okay so you can see the black part is gone right so again i'm pressing space bar to play it back I think we have used the same video twice right so we can delete this video again now i want to add a music along with this video how we can do that we need to go to to our media files which is this files if you don't see it again go to window then you can click your project and your project name then this panel will appear you can just click here which is the back button click here then you will see this music file click and drag it here so if i play it back you can see the music is playing but i don't want to use that part of this music so what can we do you can just click and drag this section where you want to start the music i want to start the music from here then click and drag this on your left then if i play it back by the way if your audio section is not looking that big just like me you can just make it bigger or make it smaller just by clicking and dragging it like that and again if your music file is not looking like my music file then you can go to here and you can click rectified audio waveform you have to disable it if you are seeing your music file is like that you can just disable it and you will see the music file just like this one so that's it now i want to delete the unwanted part of this music using the razor tool clicking here then again i'm selecting the selection tool deleting this part just by pressing delete key on my keyboard so that is my 
press video you can make your video a little bit smoother just by syncing the card along with the music bit suppose here is a bit so you can just make the cut here again here is a bit again here is a bit i want to make the cut here click and drag it here then click and drag it here here is a bit so here is our final bit so that's it if i play it back i can play it back pressing the space key if you want to play it back in full screen then you can press ctrl and the tilde key it will make the screen bigger then you can press spacebar so that is the process that you can follow to make a simple video in adobe premiere pro finally if you want to deliver the video on youtube or facebook then you need to render the video how you can render it select the timeline just by clicking here then go to file then go to export then media then from the range drop down select the entire source and from here select a preset i will select high quality 1080p name your video i'm naming it my first project and from the location this section click here and you can select the location where you want to save it i'm selecting a location then click save now you need to click export it will render the video and it will be ready within a minute uh, so that we can upload it on facebook or youtube so the render process have done then go to the folder where you have saved it here is the folder if i double click it it will play back so that is the quick start of adobe premiere pro i hope you have liked it if you have liked it you can download the files from the description and you can make your own project share those with your friends so from the next class i'm going to show you how you can import files then i will show you how you can save it how you can export it properly how you can add different transition how you can color grade how to edit the sound etc etc so if you don't want to miss those please subscribe to this channel that's all for today i'll catch you guys on the next one until then Goodbye.